Ah, the noble knight, the cream of the crop of medieval European armies. Trained from a young age, these fighting men can easily destroy armies several times their size. Luckily, in rising lords, they behave very much the same way. The knight is the most powerful unit type in game, owing to their stats, which is almost double the amount of the next highest stat unit, swordsmen, which in turn means they are the most food efficient unit in the game. They are not overpowered, however, as they require three pieces of equipment and a horse. Besides their stats, knights have three other powerful strengths, three movement points that allows them to rapidly move across almost every terrain except swamps. The ability to use both cavalry and infantry cards, so they can use both the damage and mobility boosting ability of cavalry cards, whilst also using the defensive powers of infantry cards. Third, in turn order. Even with a stack of 200 knights, you will most of the time move earlier than any other melee units, save for cavalry. This means the knight tends to be able to strike the most annoying targets first and take less damage since they go earlier, assuming that the enemy doesn't use the strike first card. Still, they're not without weakness. Pikemen can be a problem if they are on hills, forests or swamps. Crossbowmen can absolutely destroy them if the knights cannot be right beside said unit. Compared to other units, knights tend to be the favourite target of annoying cards like bind, barrage and others. Cards like stakes or traps can be a nasty surprise to a charging knight, since it takes out a percentage of your entire stack. Be wary of the Plantagenet, their generals can access both traps and fire arrows at level 1. Also remember that no matter how powerful your stack of knights are, they will do zero damage if the enemy that it is attacking has a decoy card set. The best way to somewhat mitigate the high requirement is to mainly base your armies around swordsmen since the units that counter them, which are knights and cavalry, tend to be rare. It is also important to remember, unlike swords, heavy and light armor, horses are grouped as local resources, same as food. So you'll either have to recruit knights in the same region you produce or store horses, recruit knights in the same region where a merchant happens to travel, send horses to where you want to recruit knights, which costs 100 gold per delivery and 1 gold per head of an animal. The delivery also takes one turn to travel between regions, keep that in mind. Lastly, there are three variants of knights. The generic version, the Capetian version, which has 10 extra morale, but has doubled upkeep and recruitment cost, and finally the Teutonic version, which has doubled recruitment cost, but no upkeep. Obviously, the Capetian knight is the most powerful variant. Although the free upkeep knights are nice in theory, you only save around 2 gold per 10 knights, only breaking even after 10 turns. Even then, if you are capable of fielding a knight to begin with, you are probably well beyond the point of caring about their upkeep cost. So, to conclude, the knight is a very powerful and food efficient unit, capable of turning the tide of battle with a well-placed charge and even passing through enemy stacks with no damage. Yet, offset by the complicated logistics of recruiting one and their less than stellar performance in certain terrains, that's all I can say in this video. If it was useful or at the very least amusing, please subscribe. And as always, have a great time.